Mr. Pillinger, yes? John Pillinger. Thank you for this time. Not at all. I'm an admirer of your documentaries, Mr. Pillinger. When you have a very strong visual experience, like a comic book, uh, the, the, oh, the best way to enhance it is to add some kind of soundtrack and to give, you know, and give the characters voices. Yeah! An animated comic is just intrinsically more interesting to me than just the printed, the, the flat image. You're gonna burst inside that suit when this hits you. They're gonna have to pour you out. This is definitely probably the most intense character that I've done in terms of voiceover. A lot of the stuff that I've done voiceover-wise has been a lot more lighthearted. But uh, this was definitely more serious, more intense. Um, certainly a lot more violence involved. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. What I don't get is cops and feds can outright kill us. And if we even think about defending ourselves, that's terrorism. I like the anger and intensity in it. Let's have that underneath okay. and make this more about establishing that bond. Okay. And we're rolling. And if we even think about defending ourselves, that's terrorism. Good, good, stand by. My children, come in, come in. You want I should twist up a bomber? Not me. I don't touch it anymore. I looked at him and went, oh, this should work. <laughs> but we threw some voices around, probably was somewhere like this. Yeah. Probably ended up something like this, you know. You're really disappointing me. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly, I'm taking drugs. I spend my days cooking, cooking down, down Illinois bundle weed into DMT and raising mushrooms. I think Marvel was the sort of groundbreaker in terms of the neurotic superhero and, um, you know, introducing the sort of human flaws into the character story, you know, the backstory of comic books. And Iron Man is, you know, has got a really nice collection of neuroses. He's vain and he's, you know, guilty about being rich and he's got this heart condition and he has uh, romantic problems and his secret identity is up for grabs. I, I will say that Extremis reads a lot like a film. I mean, it's very, it's very cinematic and, you know, the way that the panels are set up and the way that graphic novels are set up, they are very cinematic. Not only that, but Artie Gronoff's artwork is incredibly realistic. All the scientific uh, jargon and the angle of the scientific expertise is more credible in this than it has been in other ones, and I like that. I like it when it sort of gets close enough to being real that uh, it's easy to suspend your disbelief. The coolest thing I got to do as part of this project, I would say, is breathe fire, which I actually did do in the booth. I'm not sure if, if, if you know that. Breathing fire is something that I've always wanted to do. It's right up there with learning how to play the piano.